Hey all, and welcome back to the channel. So I promised a little while ago that I would uh, show you guys how to use Google Drive on FreeBSD. Now I must prefix this with, this is a command line tool. This is not a, a GUI for inside of a desktop environment. This is how I would manage, say, saving my ZFS snapshots. So let's, um, let's not waste any time let's get into it so you'll see my terminal here and i'm logged in as root all of this will be done as root so the first thing that we'll need to do is install the the command line tool which is called grive2 which is an interesting name but there we go so package install as always we're going to do this with binaries grive2 there you go, it's going to install its dependencies as well. So we'll let it do that. And it's probably going to give us a little message. There you go. So now, don't have to do this, but I always do. I don't know why. So if I do a G drive, there you go. So the first thing we need to do is initialize it. So we'll come out of there and we'll go into a directory that I've already made, which is Google Drive, imaginatively, and we'll just go grive minus A. And this will give us a long string code. Now this needs to be pasted into your Google Drive web page window. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna come out of that one. Go into that one. All right. So it's given us this string, which we'll just copy and paste straight into this window. Bada boom, bada bing. Click on continue. And it's going to give you this authorization code. Now I'm going to blur this out because I don't want you guys having access to my Google Drive. And it's going to ask you to paste it into the window, which I'll also blur out. And now it's going to upload a simple file that I've put in there, which is um, a ZFS snapshot. So that'll take a minute or two, depending on your bandwidth. This is literally uploading to Google Drive now. So if I go back to my Google Drive window, Once that's actually finished, it will show up. So I'll skip this ahead for you guys. Right, so this file is 1.1 gig. So hopefully it won't take too long to load up or upload. If it does, it does. And there we go. So that's now telling me That's now telling me it's finished. And look at that, there it is. I didn't even have to refresh, lovely. So yeah, basically what I do with this is just to, to keep snapshots off of my, my valuable disk space on my mail server, my live mail server. And it just allows me to just keep things out of the way and saves a lot of space now this isn't the greatest tool because it doesn't do it automatically so if i just went and deleted that snapshot 
Okay, it's gone on my local device. But it's still in my Google Drive. What I'd have to do is just run the command again. Now, what you can do, and which is what I do, is I set up a cron tab that just does that every hour or so. When it's doing its backups, and I say backups, I shouldn't really say backups, they're not really backups. When it's saving my snapshots, my daily snapshots of my mail server, I run this maybe once a day because the snapshot takes a couple of hours to actually to create. But yeah, so you can set up a, a, a very simple cron tab that runs GRive however often you want. Depends on your bandwidth, of course, and depends on how big the files are that you're uploading to Google Drive. But you can literally just save anything in here. Let's touch test pick. So there it is, which will obviously have nothing in it. And then you just run GRive again. And it uploads it. I refresh the page. That's gone. And there's my test picture with literally nothing in it. <laughs> uh, let's do a different example, shall we? Let's get rid of that. GRive to put that up there. It's already there, look, and I didn't even refresh that. Hello world, GH. There we go. So although it's not intuitive to use and it, it's not automatic, you know, it's the next best thing. It it really does get you out of a pickle. Now, I'm sure there are in the ports tree or in the packages repository other tools that will do this, that will allow you to do it on a, on a nice desktop environment. I'm sure there are. In fact, let's have a look why, don't we? Would have been bad if I spelt that wrong. Let's see what's available. G Drive 2. G Drive was one that I used to use, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work very well for me anymore. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll leave it there. That's how I would use Google Drive as um, a back end for snapshots to get it off site. Not the greatest way to do backups, admittedly, but it is a backup, if you like. And it works for me. I've been able to recover disks that way several times. And I may well even go through how to recover a snapshot from a ZFS snapshot one day. Anyway, let me know what you guys do for Google Drive on FreeBSD or even in, in Linux. I'd, I'd be quite interested to hear that as well. Stick it in the comments. Let me know. As always, don't forget to click the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe uh, button and click that bell as well. That will give you notifications when I release new videos. And as always, see you in the next one. Take care.